Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to break down this tankless water heater. Then we will scrap it and see how much we get. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so I have never scrapped one of these before. Um, I've scrapped plenty of hot water heaters, but not tankless water heaters. So uh, I'm going to get going breaking this thing down, and we'll see what happens. First thing I did was took out a bunch of screws. This is the brains of the unit. Uh, took some screws out. It's got some circuit board in it, some wire. Here's a little transformer I took off the circuit board. Here I'm taking some more screws out of the back. Now this breakdown took me about an hour, so I'm not going to show every last second of it, um, just some of the main parts. Nice little piece of brass here. taking out some more screws here then I'm using my reciprocating saw to cut a piece of brass off of some copper back to taking more screws out this is the fan that I just pulled out of the water heater it was made of steel with one aluminum piece in it Here's the electric motor out of the fan. This is the burner that I'm removing that creates the heat in the water heater. This is copper pipe. I really wasn't 100% sure until I did a file test. Um, it's a little bit discolored and I'm not really sure why. I did some research. Um, my guess is it has something to do with the heat, but if you know, uh, put it in the comments below. Um, here you can see the uh, color of the copper coming through this um, exterior, and I'd like to know. So put it in the comments if you know why this copper is a different color. Here I'm just back to removing some more wires and taking some more screws out, trying to get this metal casing off the heat exchanger. screws and more screws. Then I cut one more piece of brass off the copper with my recip saw. Right there's where my camera ran out of memory and I wanted to add in a few pictures just to show you guys this heat exchanger. It's copper all the way around in and out. And here are the final results after I took this into the scrapyard. Okay, all in all this breakdown took me about an hour and it made just under $30 so I'd say it was worth it. Thanks for watching.